Over three years after its initial release, Sony's critically acclaimed God of War is finally coming to PC on January 14th, 2022. Developed by SIE Santa Monica for PS4, it'll be the first ever title in the series to release for PC via Steam. Let's take a look at 15 things you should know before buying, whether you're a new or returning player. Story and Setting Decades after the events of God of War 3, the story sees an older Kratos living a secluded life in Midgar during ancient times. Following the passing and cremation of his wife Faye, Kratos and his son Atreus set out to scatter her ashes at the highest peak of the Nine Realms. Things aren't quite that simple though. Before venturing out, Kratos is accosted by a stranger who possesses the same invulnerability and enhanced strength. Also, along with having an uneasy relationship, Atreus has no idea about his father's past. Thus does their long and arduous journey begin. One-Shot Presentation Compared to previous God of War titles, everything here is presented in one shot. This means that the game plays out without any cuts to other camera angles. This keeps the focus on the characters and increases immersion, giving the impression of actually witnessing events as the cast does while naturally transitioning back to gameplay. It's not something that's easy to pull off, especially given the length of the game, which makes it all the more noteworthy. World Design Midgard serves as one's main hub area of sorts, but various other realms open up over time. As such, while previous titles offered linear stages to explore, this God of War presents a more open approach to its levels. You can venture off the beaten path and explore different areas, completing different quests and learning more about the world in the process. It's more evenly paced while presenting some stunning sights. Side Content Exploring and uncovering different things is a big part of the fun in God of War, so we won't spoil all of the different kinds of side content available. However, you can look forward to optional boss fights, puzzles, challenges, hidden areas, and much more. Who knows, you may even find some worthwhile items that'll help on the journey. Combat God of War's combat does away with the fixed camera perspectives and jumping of previous titles to offer a more grounded experience. The camera is over the shoulder to emphasize this, and many new mechanics have been added into the mix. Kratos is armed with the Leviathan Axe, initially, which is capable of light and heavy attacks along with being thrown and recalled at will. This opens up the ability to throw the axe at one enemy and pummel another with his bare fists. In the midst of combat, Atreus can also help firing arrows at the player's command. Suffice it to say, there's a lot to learn and master combat-wise. Gear Along with upgrading weapons and learning new abilities by leveling up, Kratos and Atreus can equip different armor sets. Kratos' sets provide bonuses for his six core stats, strength, runic, defense, vitality, luck, and cooldown, along with different skills. Many also possess enchantment sockets for equipping and activating unique perks. You also have talismans, which can provide unique skills, like slowing down time on perfect dodge, or unleashing a shockwave that can stun all affected enemies. There are a number of ways to build out both heroes depending on one's playstyle. Gameplay Length In terms of the amount of gameplay, God of War is a pretty hefty journey. According to HowLongToBeat.com, the main story can be completed in 21 hours on average. If you're doing extra content on the side, then that can become 33 hours or so in total. And for completionists, it'll take roughly 52 and a half hours for everything. Long story short, there's a lot to experience with New Game Plus and higher difficulties also available as options. Ported by Jetpack Interactive Though the base game was developed by SIE Santa Monica Studio, the PC port of God of War is actually handled by Jetpack Interactive. The Vancouver-based studio's work is still being overseen by the original developers though, so the overall performance and quality should hopefully live up to expectations. True 4K and Unlocked Frame Rates God of War is capable of running in 2160p resolution in either 30 frames per second or 60 on PS5, and though the former is locked, the latter still performs very well with minimal dropped frames. However, checkerboard rendering is in effect, so it's not quite native 4K. The PC version offers a true 4K experience, along with support for unlocked frame rates. Visual Improvements 
In terms of improvements, the PC version features higher resolution shadows and better screen space reflections. Ground truth, ambient occlusion, and screen space directional occlusion are also supported. The former generates occlusion maps for indirect light by using screen space pixel information, while the latter considers reflected light generated behind an object and direct light. Overall, this should result in the visuals having much more natural lighting and depth. NVIDIA DLSS and Reflex AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution For those wanting that extra bit of frame rate performance along with more responsive gameplay overall, NVIDIA DLSS and Reflex are both supported. AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution is also apparently supported, according to AMD's official webpage, which should allow for adjusting image quality settings to hit a near native resolution. 21 by 9 widescreen support. If you've ever wanted to see more of Midgard while exploring or have a much wider view during combat, then there's good news, since God of War on PC supports 21 by 9 ultra widescreen on displays. Whether there will be a field of view slider as well still remains to be confirmed, but the game should look stunning regardless. DualShock 4 and DualSense support Naturally, both DualShock 4 and DualSense controllers are supported, which is good news for those who have a PS5, and also those who don't. A wide range of other gamepads are also supported as per Sony, so an Xbox controller should work here as well. Mouse and keyboard users can also look forward to fully customizable bindings. PC Requirements In terms of hardware requirements, God of Wars can be divided into five categories. Minimum, Recommended, High, Performance, and Ultra. Minimum requirements for playing at 720p 30 frames per second on low settings include an Intel Core i5-2500K at 3.3GHz or AMD Ryzen 3-1200 at 3.1GHz, 8GB of DDR RAM and either an NVIDIA GTX 960 or AMD R9 290X with 4GB of VRAM. The recommended requirements include a Core i5-6600K at 3.5GHz or a Ryzen 5 2400G at 3.6GHz with 8GB of DDR RAM, and either a GTX 1060 6GB or AMD RX 570 4GB. This allows for running the game at 1080p 30 frames per second with quality akin to the original release. For 1080p 60 frames per second gameplay at original settings, a Core i7 4700K 3.5GHz or AMD Ryzen 7. 2700 3.2GHz, 8GB DDR RAM, and a GTX 1070 8GB or AMD RX 5600 XT 6GB are required. For 1440p 60 frames per second gameplay at high settings, a Core i7 7700K 4.2GHz or Ryzen 7 3700X at 3.6GHz 16GB DDR RAM and an RTX 2070 or AMD RX 5700 XT with 8GB VRAM are required. Finally, running the game at 4K 60 frames per second with ultra settings requires a Core i9 9900K 3.6 GHz or Ryzen 9 3950X, 3.5 GHz, 16 GB DDR RAM, and an RTX 3080, 10 GB or RX 6800 XT, 16 GB. In all cases, 70 GB of installation space is needed, with an SSD being recommended. Price God of War costs $50 on Steam, which is $10 cheaper than its launch price on PS4. It may not seem like much in terms of a discount, but considering the amount of content and free upgrades along with the visual improvements and PC-specific features, it's a pretty good price to play one of the best games of all time. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.